Exactly. My name's Ethan, and well, <laughs> this is a quite a milestone. I would like to clarify myself that I am probably the most craziest person I know, and I'm going to explain Big Boom. So get ready. Now, have you ever heard this voice in Big Boom 4? And what is this? Do push ups, you little sheets. Do it right now. No, no. That guy? Well, in Big Boom 5, it was Filthy Frank. As my friend Nessie Boy. And Filthy Frank was pissing off that Chinaman to do the push ups or me in Big Boom 2. And uh, he's here to repay the favor. And the reason why Chinaman likes the Budio so much is because they're sprinkled with his granddad's ashes. And Chinaman's mom and dad, his mom is Chinese and his dad is Indian. So I feel like I clarified most of the series there. Will there ever be a Big Boom 6? I don't know. <laughs> That's something that I have, like, I never thought of a Big Boom 6. I thought Big Boom 5 was like the big ending climaxy and yeah so you leave your theories you you do things and screw you okay <laughs> i really don't know what else to say but i need to save it up for the eater of worlds What is your life with salvation? People don't really know me. Let me clarify the fact that I am not I am not anything normal. <laughs> no. I am the eater of worlds. I am the man that will cleanse half of the entire population if I want to. But I'm going to read you a bedtime story now. <laughs> right there. Let it shine off really good. Alright. This is a story about Goldilocks and the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. And she was a wicked, wicked child who spat and swore and chewed tobacco. But one day, she came back across the house of the three bears. It was a lavish mansion with a garden full of bonsai trees and a 1952 cab at the Bill Portway because bears have class. And she went inside the house and found three bowls of porridge cooling on the table and Cody Rocks doesn't care that she was committing a family that she didn't care that when she was breaking an entry and she ate the food she ate it all like a pig and then she banged out a deuce and went down upstairs to sleep and then three hours later the three bears came back to the house I found all the food will be eaten. I've been eaten. And then the mama bear went upstairs. And there was Goldilocks. Passed out in a, in a cloud of farts and cigarette smoke. Ooh, mama bear did not like that. I bet not. And she grabs old Goldilocks and he took her unbreakable ass down the stairs. Stood her up in front of the sink and said, Goldilocks, you were going to make us some fresh porridge. And you're going to do a good job before I take you out on the yard. Rip you open. Strangle you with your own intestines. And nail your soul to a tree. The end. <laughs>